Valentine's Day this Saturday. It's coming up fast. Yes. And uh, we've got relationship tips this morning with clinical psychologist Lisa Hartwell. Thanks for being here this oh, morning. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Well, as you mentioned, so many people are just interested in, you know, finding ways to just get through the day, get through the week, and then on top of that, think of things like Valentine's Day. Yeah. So, so glad you're here. Yeah. And we're going to kind of break it down because there's a lot of things to talk about. Let's start with the most important part, maybe. Yeah. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. How do we yeah. uh, get to the fun on Valentine's Day? Oh, make it fun. And don't worry about it because, you know, the first thing you should do is visualize yourself having fun with whoever you're taking Visualize. Out. Visualize, visualize it. it. Okay. You know, what she's going to look like when you give her that gift or open the door or what you're going to look like all dapper and handsome and just visualize having fun, whatever you've rolled out okay. to plan. Yeah. And you've got some um, ideas on how to kind of sort of, how else to then personalize too. Exactly. Because you want to go, sometimes you're in a rush and you want to go and just go and get a box of candy or exactly. something. Exactly. But you can do better than that. Absolutely. My idea of personalizing is there's nothing more validating than getting your partner something that they love. If they love chocolates, but they love lavender, put it in a lavender bag. Just Wrap a it with a touch. Exactly. Okay. If they love orange, go get them some, some beautiful orchids. You know, something just a little bit of a twist. It shows that you put a little extra thought into it. You know, that's great because I, I think it, sometimes people think they got to do something huge, right. or something crazy, right. but right. just that little extra thought that, that says, okay, I right. thought about you, right. not just about Valentine's Day in general. Right, right. Just like my husband, he always gets away with adding to my repertoire here, okay. <laughs> right? So, you know, it's personal. He knows it's something that I would love. So it's Okay, exciting. so I think another thing, too, is it's so easy to get overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So easy to get overwhelmed. Absolutely. Um, it, there's, there's ways to kind of narrow it down a little bit. Right, right. And one of the things we think about doing is when you're really talking about that particular day, you really want to take something and say there's a poem or a song or just a saying that you find that your loved one is saying, personalize it, you know, put it on a necklace, put it on a, a plaque, put it on a cup, something that they're going to see all year long because that's going to remind them of the day and how much they love you. You know, I think yeah. something important that you brought up too is mindfulness. Yeah, absolutely. That's huge. What such does that a, mean? It's such a buzzword now, right? Um, mindfulness means staying in the present. There's nothing more important and again validating that day to think nothing of that day of your partner. And um, so many of us worry about what happened yesterday, maybe an argument you had last week, or you're worried about the bills or the kids or something tomorrow. Stay present of the day. Okay. Look in their eyes. Have a great time. Just enjoy it. Just relish in the love. I love Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. Simple, simple, but simple. great tips and important yeah. tips. Thank you so much yeah. for that advice. And you've got a website up so you can get more information that way. All right, right 627 right. on this Monday morning. We'll be right back. Thank you.